This video is for sleep psychologist who asked about making a dog harness. This harness is based off the Spanish bowline. I'll find my ends and match them up, then find the center point. And here I'll form two bites, rotate them inward, and I'll take the right strand and put it over the left. Now it doesn't really matter which strand you overlay, you just want to make sure you have this triangle here in the middle. Now I'll take my ends. I'm going to bring them over the top and thread them through that triangle there. So let's grab them. We'll go over the top, thread them through. There we go. And then we'll pull everything tight, make sure we're nice and dressed up. And here is our Spanish bowline. These two loops are going to be placed around our doggy's legs. And when they come up, we want them to go just above their shoulders. So let's adjust this. I'm gonna pull in some slack and then pull out. And then I'll adjust the length of the loops by adjusting this lower rope here. They're connected so as I slide them back and forth, I can match them up in equal length. Tighten everything up. All right, so doggy's feet go through the loops. And I'll bring that up. And we want the Spanish bone line knot to be on their chest. Now, one thing we could do is take the opposite rope, bring it over and pull it through. Same thing on this side, pull it through. But what would happen here is you'd end up with something that constricts. And we don't want that. We want all the force to be centered across our puppy's chest here. So to avoid that constricting action, what we're gonna do is take the opposite rope and form a little bite here, pass it through. We're gonna do that again and pass it through. And then our free end's gonna go through that loop. With both ends locked off, now it doesn't constrict. Instead, it places the pressure across the chest. Then to finish it off, I simply twisted it into a single leash and then I tied an overhand knot. So you ready to go for a walk? You wanna go on a walk? Good boy. Good boy. 